Hello to everyone, it's uh, June 10th, 2017. Welcome to my Eric channel, my second channel, second official channel, and I want to show you the earthquake that occurred in uh, Greenland uh, zone in the North Pole, around the North Pole, at uh, 2049, which is 2249, on June 9th, 2017. A few days ago, I warned you what is going to happen where the Catalina V4, US-10 and all elements comet are passing that this uh, area are in danger and here we are, we got 5.2 in Greenland Sea, let me show you where so this is the epicenter here and uh, this is the Catalina C 2013 V4 which is stand for the Grey Kahuna Sun or Central Sun of the Nibiru system which is circling around the Europe. I already showed you that in my past video which area will be affected with three more uh, three most dangerous comets right now. Uh, of course all comets are dangerous but uh, this three are uh, right now uh, extremely dangerous. So uh, and two days later or one day later, I even don't know when I made this video. At uh, 2229, that's uh, 20 minutes or uh, 19 minutes, I'm sorry, 19 minutes or okay, let's say 20 minutes prior to the official uh, moment of the earthquake, the comet Catalina V4 was in angular separation with the uh, Greenland Sea. I mean, this is the more, they said, Norwegian Sea or. Uh, what uh, it's it was uh, in angular separation of 135 degrees so 135 degrees it's one of the angles that cause the earthquake it's here you see so every 15 every 15 uh, degrees it's when when come comet in the uh, position on on certain center epicenter it caused the earthquake so it released its plasma and this is the something what I said called the critical critical distance from the from the subject that caused the earthquake so this is not uh, uh, something what what was uh, how they how can I say uh, coincidence because uh, I announced that a few days ago Two days ago, one day ago, uh, that the comet will cause the trouble in there, in the place where it's passing by, and it's happened just like this. Happily, there is nothing, no damage here because this is the uh, place where there is no people, there is no houses and and uh, infrastructure, etc., etc. It's ice and open sea, so this time we were lucky. And but this is only the northern part of this circle when the Catalina V4 is passing. So you can expect something like this uh, even in Europe, and I am expecting earthquake in Italy. I predict this uh, earthquake for 20, between 23rd and 27th of May, but it doesn't happen during the full moon. So I believe uh, the value of the Italian earthquake site to rise exactly as I predicted uh, on this day, 23rd, uh, between 27th and 23rd of May 2017. All uh, value of the earthquake magnitudes arise from uh, 2 to 3 and over the 3. That means that something is coming close from the from the above the Turkey, close to the Italy. So Western Turkey was affected, and then was uh, some kind of uh, uh, interval. Where nothing happened in Western Turkey, and uh, not happening at all in Turkey. And then suddenly again Western Turkey, and then start to rise the magnitude in Italy. And this is because the movement of this comet which is circling around uh, Europe and I show you that and I, I will show you that again so this round circle here is Europe and Catalina is going around this circle this is the orbit of Catalina V4 
and this circle this is what I did uh, I just uh, add one uh, circle where the, where is the limits of the Europe okay and that's why uh, that's why this is here this is not exist in the original uh, astronomical program I enter all these cities I made my own private map and this is it so this is Catalina here this is the earthquake so we can expect in in any of this area here something like this and it was also one in uh, uh, Iran I think just a moment that was today there was two stronger earthquake which are not normally for 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 this so one it was in the Pacific right Antarctic reach this is on Antarctica and one it was in southeastern Iran this is 607 in the morning let's see what what was happened in the 607 in the morning so 607 in the morning now and 607 in the morning let's go down 607 let's see what was the position look at where the Catalina US 10 goes look at where Catalina US 10 goes and we are talking about earthquake in Iran okay now let me show you this so this is caused by Catalina US 10 look at that here 607 where is Catalina it's right next to the northeastern Iran what this this is not coincidence people you understand that this is not coincidence just a moment just to take a hand hand tool so I can move this I will show you this in in a so all this what you see are the orbits of the Elenin Catalina Elenin Catalina so that was the position of Catalina C 2013 US 10 at 607 in the morning and the earthquake was in 607 in the morning two hours plus or from this time because this is the uh, Greenwich time and uh, we have to uh, add uh, plus two hours plus two hours and this is it 59 29 29 is somewhere here and 59 is somewhere here so that was the position of the of the earthquake somewhere here so if I go back we can get probably some uh, angle of this earthquake so we go back and look at where we go back we come to the exactly to the place where it is so I have not examined this earthquake uh, in uh, in uh, in my next video exactly I don't want to waste your time uh, you can see the uh, finished video with angular separation which hit the Iran thank you very much and stay tuned